Lucky you, it's Quiplash 3, Midnight Train to Fun Town. My name's Schmitty, according to my socks. And if you didn't make it into the game, it's no big deal. Get in the audience and vote away. Ready for round one? You're going to see two prompts on your device. Answer each one with a brilliant response. Soon you'll go up against another player's answers while everyone else votes for their favorite. Oh yes, points. You score points based on the percentage of voters who like your answers. Clear enough? Sure hope so. Let's go. It's quip time! Kicking things off... When your Roomba is charging, what does it dream about? Voting time! Next up, the simplest pleasure known to man. Time to pick the one you like best. And next, the amusement park was a bust. Now what do we do with all these cloned dinosaurs? Now it gets real. Pick your favorite.
And that was round one. Let us never speak of it again. On to the scoreboard. Get yourselves ready, because round two takes no prisoners. Double the points, double the anxiety. And now it begins. Up to bat, we have a podcast nobody could resist would be about blank. Let's vote. Without further ado, only after her death did we discover Granny's tattoo of blank. Okay, choose your favorite. Okay, what's next? A little secret, if the line for the bathroom is too long, just blank. And now it's time to vote for your favorite. And round two is finito. Let's see if the same is true of your score. <laughs> Step right up to Riplash. A crazy final round that came to me in a fever dream. Each of you will be sent a prompt that requires three separate responses. One of you wasn't paying attention, but that's fine. I see we have an odd number, so you'll be competing against me. Oh man, I forgot to stretch. Might as well get this over with. Three new
mutual things to write in a birthday card for a coworker you don't know that well. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. Well, dang it. Three commandments that didn't make the cut. Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. I guess this is really happening. Let's see the final scores. I hope you're ready for Quiplash 3, The Importance of Being Stupid. I'm your host, Schmitty, asking you to please spay and neuter your pats. You heard me. Let's kick it off with round one. Points are scored based on the percentage of people who choose your response. Let's quip. It's go time! And the first prompt is... Doctors Without Borders is a much better organization than Doctors Without Blank. Make your vote count! Let's keep it going. You know your doctor is an idiot when he says, I need 10 cc's of blank stat. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. And here we have a rejected slogan for milk. All right, people, it's voting time.
so that was round one. Let us never speak of it again. But hey, let's see those scores. Time for round two, where the prompts are crazier and the points are doublier. Go! Don't let me down. At the front of the line is... The worst thing to hear after saying, I love you. Okay, time to choose. Let's see the next one. If you get a case of this player fever, it can only be cured by blank. And now pick your favorite. And next is... Valhalla is heaven for warriors. Value City is heaven for blank. All right, choose your favorite. Hard to put that round two into words, but let's see how it translates to the scoreboard. And now for Riplash, where all Quip Roads lead. And seeing how we have an odd number game, you'll be going against me. Crazy, right? Okay, it's time. Three things you would say to a wolf disguised as your grandma. All right, vote for the one you like best.
Hey, game respects game. You know what I'm talking about. Three crappy excuses for not getting a kid the bike they wanted for their birthday. Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. Nothing to do now but see those final scores.
Congratulations, fellow demons. You and your family have been selected to take part in our groundbreaking demon-human relations program. You will be living among the humans and taking part in the pointless and highly stressful rituals of mortal life. Whether you want to or not, In case it wasn't obvious, each of you has a family role, parent, teen, or child. That role will affect what you can do around the house, so take note of it. And if you'd like to try a new look, now's the time. Time to get moving. As you're assigned demon relocation, then it's time for this week's human challenge. Playing the part. The elementary school is putting on a production of a streetcar named Streetcar 124B. Will the family be the stars of the show, or will they be forced to turn off the dark? Remember, you can't earn a perfect score unless you complete every challenge task. Get ready! Day one begins now. What? <laughs> 
really valuable challenge task has just appeared. Remember to do all of them to get the best rating. Well, well, looks like someone's being selfish. When you hear this sound, that means one of the family has given in to their devilish nature. A task to stop them will appear on your device, but you have to act fast. Acting selfish fills the meter, eventually leading to a family emergency. But it's worth a bunch of points, if you can stay under the radar. A challenge task is now on the list. Don't miss it. Another selfish act has begun. If I were you, I'd grab the task to stop it. A member of the family is asking for help with the task. If you need someone older or younger to help with the task, let your fellow family members know. A task for this week's challenge just appeared. I hear the sounds of selfishness. A new human challenge task has just appeared. Looks like the day is half done. I'd start plowing through those tasks if I were you. You do know that sound means someone's being selfish, right? Almost time for bed. Last chance to earn points. What a day, am I right? Let's check the scores. Here's today's family score.
Let's see who's pulling their weight. These family members did the most selfish tasks. Remember, selfish acts don't help the family and can lead to family emergencies that cost you points. If you see someone acting selfishly, grab the task to stop them. Unless you like losing, that is. Okay, break's over. By the way, if you want less hand-holding, you can turn off tutorials in the settings menu. Fair warning though, you will miss me. Just FYI, the day's half done and you need to get your family score past the goal line. Work together to finish as many high scoring tasks as you can before time runs out. The day's nearly done. Better finish what you're working on. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's selfish actions have caused a family emergency. 
You've all got to work together to end the emergency, and the whole family loses points until you do. Better hurry. Everybody pitch in to stop this emergency. Everyone still friends? Don't answer yet. Here's your family score. You failed to reach the daily goal, which means more paperwork for me and a strongly worded letter for you. It seems that the dozens of theater critics we sent did not care for your production. Because of your little stunt, the drama club was forced to disband completely. Are you happy? They're a football school now! We are disappointed to report that you failed this human challenge. Let's just forget about that and try again, shall we? to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up! In this first step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and name a particular type of champion character. They'll be equipped with two tools, a pen for drawing and a thick marker for coloring in. Once a character is drawn and named, it can be submitted. The timer's been set, off we go.
seconds remain, players need to name their character. The trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdogs because their creators will see who they're competing against, but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's unique skill set to create what they hope is a worthy challenger. Let's see the drama unfold. Second warning, name those characters. It's time for the main event. Our first opponent enters the ring. And in this corner we've got... These two will battle to see who is the champion of the bargain bin. Wave the white flag. This one appears to be over. You better deal with it. In this corner, we've got... They'll be facing off against... We'll decide once and for all who is the champion of Flavor Blasting! This is tough to watch. Extra cash goes to the underdog. They put the cool in Cool Ranch. Now entering the ring. And opposing them will be... One of them will be crowned the champion of the Midwest. You hate to see this, it's a forfeit. And that takes us to halftime. Here are the scores.
20-second warning. Name those characters. 